Most gondola accidents take place in high areas and lead to serious accidents. Gondola-related accidents result in the falling of people or objects. Let's take a look at the basic items and inspection methods for working safely with gondolas. First, let's take a look at the definition of a gondola and gondola types. A gondola is a work platform connected to a rope. It is raised and lowered using an elevation device and is primarily used for applying finishes to the exterior walls of buildings. Gondolas are categorized into permanent types or temporary types depending on the installation methods. Most gondolas used on construction sites are temporary. Next, here are the main structure and safety features. A gondola primarily consists of a platform where workers stand to work, a drive motor that raises and lowers the platform, a motor controller, car type, or hook type arms for supporting the platforms and weights that hold the arms in place. Main safety devices include an overwinding proof device that signals an alarm when the platform is raised above a certain level, an overload limiter for preventing overload, a falling prevention device for preventing the platform from falling when the wire rope breaks, an emergency stop switch that cuts off power during emergencies and a level adjustment device for adjusting the level of the platform. Next, here are the pre-operation inspections. Gondolas are subject to safety certification after installation and safety inspections every six months according to the Occupational Safety and Health Act. While there are no legal requirements for operators, it must be operated by the designated personnel. Gondola work is subject to priority reporting work according to Samsung CNT regulations. It must be reported and approved of before installation. Next, inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist. Before inspecting the gondola, the inspector must wear the necessary personal protective equipment and must check for any hazards in the surrounding area. The inspection method for the overload limiter is as follows. Place the platform on the ground and load weights beyond the weight limit to check that the alarm is sounded and that the work platform stops moving. Also, the overload limiter must be certified and sealed. Not installing an overload limiter may result in falling because the overloads cannot be sensed. The inspection method for the overwinding proof device is as follows. Control the operation switch when the overwinding proof switch is turned on and make sure that the platform cannot be raised or lowered. If overwinding proof device doesn't operate properly, it may be wound beyond the limit and result in falling accidents. Next, the inspection method for emergency stop button is as follows. All operations must stop when emergency stop button is pressed. The emergency stop button is a red manual reset type. If the emergency stop switch is damaged, unexpected operations during emergencies may result in accidents. Next, falling prevention device inspection method is as follows. Operate the gondola so that the platform is tilted to one side. Check to see if the falling prevention device is activated and that the brakes are applied on the wire rope. If the falling prevention device doesn't operate properly, it may result in the platform falling during emergencies. Next, the inspection method for overcurrent relay is as follows. 
make sure that the delay time, operating time and settings of overcurrent relay is appropriate. Press the test button and make sure that the alarm is sounded and the motor operation is stopped. If the overcurrent relay malfunctions, it won't be able to recognize the current values for overloads. Next, the inspection method for elevation device is as follows. Press the up and down buttons on the controller to check that the motor and brakes are functioning properly. Make sure that the level adjustment device is also functioning properly. If the level adjustment device malfunctions, it won't be able to keep the work platform level, resulting in falling accidents. Next, weight and support inspection methods are as follows. Make sure that weight and support match the drawing and make sure that all the parts are connected properly. If the bolts of the support become loose, it may cause structural deformations to the car type support and lower safety. Here are the wire rope inspection methods. Inspect the wire rope visually and use a tester to check for wear and tear and other damages. Damaged wire ropes may cause the work platform to fall, leading to serious accidents. Next, the inspection method for work platform is as follows. Maximum load and safety regulations must be posted on the work platforms. Platform must not have any cracks, corrosions or deformations in the platform itself or rails. Damages to the platform may cause deformations leading to falling accidents. Lastly, the following measures must be taken to prevent falling. The lifeline must be attached firmly. Make sure that tow boards and safety nets are installed securely. Not installing falling prevention net may result in the falling of workers or tools. Here are the safety management points. Workers must wear safety gear at all times. Manual control lever must be installed to allow descending in emergencies. Max load should be followed at all times. Platform must be attached to at least two points to prevent moving. Lifeline should be connected to at least two points. A supervisor must be designated to secure safety in the work site. Never work on gondolas during rain or strong winds of over 10 meters per second. So far, we took a look at how to perform inspections using the standard safety inspection checklist. On site, the supervisor must review safety beforehand through work plans and other documents before the gondola is brought into the site. The supervisor must also prevent possible accidents by inspecting it correctly before and during operation. This has been the inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist for gondolas and safety management points. Thank you.